Welcome to a fresh new episode of TD News Show and happy Monday to everybody. And as always for today we have some awesome news so don't forget to subscribe and let's start the show. And let's start the show with PS5 because it looks like that PS5 could have a DLSS 5 like technology. The new patent which was filled back in 2019 but was only published on July 23rd detailed technology that is capable of reconstructing an image using machine learning. The patent is sadly only available in Japanese as of now so many of the details are still unknown but from the general description it seems like this system will be improvement over checkerboard rendering that was used by PS4 Pro consoles. Next up let's talk about Xbox because in a recent interview with iJustine, Xbox head Phil Spencer kind of teased about a new August event. While speaking with iJustine's Xbox head Phil Spencer talked about a variety of topics including backwards compatibility with older games but also he said he is impressed by the frame rate that they are currently seeing from the devs. He also added that he is excited to talk more about the matter hinting at another Xbox Series X event that will be held in August where we could potentially see the rumored Xbox Series X. S. Intel 11th Gen CPUs introducing PCIe Gen 4. Screenshot of a CSoft Sendera database submission of an alleged Intel 11th Gen Core Rocket Lake -like S desktop processor machine confirms that the processor introduced PCIe Express Gen 4 support to Intel mainstream desktop platform. And not only that, Intel is also rebranding their lineup with new logos and new naming in which is Intel Evo as you can see uh, on the screen. Next up, let's talk about Nvidia because it looks like or uh, it's rumored that the new Nvidia RTX 3090 could be 50% faster than its predecessor uh, 2080 Ti or like it's a new GPU or there could be a 3080 Ti. It's, it's confusing but let's talk about the news. A couple of credible leakers on Twitter have confirmed that the performance of upcoming Nvidia RTX 3090 is shaping up to be as much as 50% increase over the RTX 2080 Ti. According to them, they are expecting the score in Time Spy benchmark could be close to 10,000 points. But the thing is, all of this is rumors. So as always, take it with a heavy dosage of salt. And talking about GPUs, AMD's M100 GPU could be faster than Nvidia's A100 GPU. AMD's next gen C DNA GPU based on Radeon Instinct's M100 accelerator has leaked out by Adore TV and as per the leak the new M100 GPU could be faster than Nvidia's A100 in F32 compute task and this is very interesting because currently the A100 GPU is the fastest GPU in the market. But also at the same time AMD is confusing every single person out there with their code name or naming scheme. AMD is slowly pushing its Linux patches for the upcoming RDNA 2 GPU namely Navi 21, Navi 22 and Navi 23. Obviously the focus is currently on Navi 21 which is expected to be long awaited big Navi and the code name was Sienna Sick Held or Click Held whatever it is but there was another code name that was uh, popping up and that was Navi Flounder and with we are expecting it to be the Navi 22 but after a new Linux update it looks like both code name are for the same GPU which is GFX uh, 1030 which is uh, expected to be the big Navi and yes as I said this is uh, confusing. It is. But now let's talk about NASA. Because the SpaceX Dragon capsule carrying Doug Hurley and Bob Behnken, Behnken, wow I'm great at butchering names. Here's the name. Okay, let's go. Came down in the Gulf of Mexico. After spending two months in space, this touchdown marks the first crude US water landing since the final outing of an Apollo command module 45 five years ago and yes this is a huge achievement for nasa and spacex and before moving on one more thing guys um there is a 
wooden woodwork shop near my house uh, so if you are listening some sounds like this uh, well it's coming from there so I'm, I'm sorry but they also have to work but now this is the time for the quick news GeForce Now members can now automatically sync their stream library future airports might feature bone conduction tech for enhanced audio Sony plans to test its Prototype Vision S electric car on public roads. Gigabyte launches Z490 Aeros Master waterfall motherboard with a monoblock AIO and it looks quite pretty honestly. Not to a fanless high TDP cooler delayed to 2021. Epic Game Store adds in-game achievements. Stream updates pricing restriction to combat VPN based exploitation of regional pricing. Microsoft Fight Simulator will be released on Steam and receive VR support. Horizon Zero Dawn will run on PC and system specs are released and you can check them with the link in the description. And a cheaper Nord based phone from OnePlus will come to US later this year. So this was all for today's techy stuff. So now let's talk about some stuff I like starting with. Universal's deal with AMC shortens the theatrical exclusivity to 70 days for upcoming movies. I think there's a great news because um, what's happening right now around the world and people need the source of entertainment whether it's from old movies or new movies uh, and if like they shorten the time from 60 to 90 days to 70 days uh, it could be great it could be great also for you know those streaming services but it also could be a bad news for theater owners at the same time now for the last story let's talk about netflix and ubisoft because netflix is making a movie based on ubisoft's game beyond good and evil well i think this is a great news for netflix and ubisoft i like beyond good and evil but guys my problem is ubisoft come on man just launch the new beyond good and evil I, I, I want to play that game yes there's a movie coming up and that's a great news but please please launch the beyond good and evil i don't know what you guys are doing for these many years but it's okay if like you are making this to be a new big thing or the game could be like um, this huge thing or like it, like I, I want this game to be good and honestly I love Ubisoft if I have to make my top three list of favorite uh, game dev companies or uh, game publishers then uh, at, at the top there is Naughty Dogs second 3D projected and on third number is you guys uh, Ubisoft so yeah I like you and uh, yeah hope for the best for the new beyond good and evil but there is something I don't like and that is this episode because this is ending the, yes this is the end of this episode so yeah if you have any thoughts about the episode comment down in the description and if you like the video hit the like button if you don't leave a dislike all the you will hurt my delicate little feelings and if you want to see more from this channel, you can check this video right here. And if you want to subscribe, which I know you want to, so definitely do it by here. And this is Akash and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.